This year, at our First Image Gala Banquet, we are focusing on the legacy of life that is unleashed when Jesus meets people in their critical moments. At First Image, our work is to be there in the earliest days for potential moms and dads when burdens may be at their heaviest and offer a way forward. We work to open new pathways by offering medical, social, practical, and spiritual support that make pregnancy and parenting move from the seemingly impossible to the plausible and beyond. Our greatest hope is that every person we encounter would experience life and life abundantly. The overturning of Roe has renewed attention on the work of pregnancy centers, and lately people who hate what we do have been attacking our work. This is not entirely new, but we are experiencing an increased level of hostility. And if you haven't already heard, there have been several incidents over the past few months, both at our physical locations and online. The most serious of which was the firebombing of our Gresham Center. I've had so many people reach out to ask how we're doing in the wake of all this. And while we honestly have to say that we are a bit weary, we're also taking the exhortation of Jesus to take heart seriously. We are genuinely encouraged and excited about what God is going to do next. And in this season where tensions and hostility toward our work are reaching new heights, we have an opportunity to gather with one another and affirm the incredible things that happen when we live as witnesses to the reality that every person conceived is created in the image of God. On October 8th, at the beautiful Holiday Inn on the Columbia River, we will hear about the legacies of life being unleashed in our centers, in our ministry to people who have experienced abortion and pregnancy loss, and about the new things that we're dreaming about for the next season. We invite you to join with us as we hear from Blair and Shai Lynn, as they tell us their stories, share their music, and encourage us to live the reality of the gospel in Greater Portland. You will be encouraged and inspired to live this faith we've been called to for such a time as this. So please consider hosting a table, inviting your friends, your family, your pastors, your small group, your co-workers. We need each other and I'm excited to see you.